let's learn how to create new Google Forms. Google always gives more than one way to do pretty much anything. I'm going to show you my top two ways that I like to create new Google Forms. My preferred method is to always go into Google Drive and to open up the folder where I want the actual form to quote unquote live. That way it makes it super easy for me to come back, find it at any point in time. So I'm in my folder and I want to create a new, gotta hover over more Google form. If I were to click on this button, it's going to open in a new window, a brand spanking new Google form, which is awesome. But at this point, I also want to show you that if you hover over this right carrot, you'll see that you have two options, a blank form as well as um, creating a Google form from the template gallery. We'll talk about that in a different video. So when you click on Google forms, it's going to open in a new window. Great. That's one way. The second way that I like to show people to create a new Google form is to open a new tab and then type forms.new. When you do that, voila, you have a new form. The one hesitation I have with truly recommending this as a method of routinely creating Google forms is that it's not actually housed anywhere. It'll just sit on your main screen of my drive and that leads to other problems with the your my drive becoming cluttered or it becoming very difficult to find things so if you do this i do recommend that you immediately go through and figure out where you want to house this for long-term safekeeping